This is one of my favorite videos right here because I know it's going to help a lot of y'all. Now, what do you get here when you get this Donald Jump and when you get this Bernie Panders? Well, first of all, when you make a video about Donald Jump, you get all the Donald Jump trolls coming in. Oh, how you gonna say that? You must be a Democrat, or you must be for Bernie Sanders, or you must be for Hillary Clinton, or something they gonna say. And then, when you make a video about Bernie Panders, you get all the Bernie Panders trolls coming in, and they say, Oh, you must be for the 1%. I can't believe you. You don't care about the people. You don't care about the poor. Yeah, I know. Heard it all before. See, what they doing here is with these two individuals, they are trying to blend in with anti-establishment people. That is the Donald Trump, and that is the Bernie Panders. Oh, wait a minute, Donald Jump. Because when they tell him to jump, he say how high. And Bernie Panders, well, that should be easy to see. The joke is pandering for the 1%. Anybody who's talking about a 90% tax rate on people is just straight up ridiculous. And obviously, he is working for the government. What are you talking about? Well, who's going to get the money? Who's going to get 90% of that tax money? The government. Okay, then move it a little bit further. Who runs the government? Be realistic now, the 1%. Exactly. It's just that simple. And that ain't even everything that's wrong with this stupid little campaign. But I want you to understand these things here. These two jokers are here to siphon up the anti-establishment vote. This is why you see Donald Jump over there on Alex Jones. Yeah, a lot of anti-establishment people watch that show, just so you know. And they're going to get everybody to rally behind Trump as if he's really running for president. But as you know, Joker coming out talking about, oh, we need to ban Muslims from entering into the country. That's not how you win elections. And that's just ridiculous. He's talking about something from a fake shooting. And then he also comes out talking about, we need to close that Internet up. Well, dang, I thought he was a man for freedom. Freedom of speech. And it gets even worse. The man said we need to go to Bill Gates out of all people who was one of the most establishment people and said we need to get him to close the Internet up like he got the button in his house. Just stupid little things like that. That only does what makes Hillary Clinton look good. See, y'all don't know about his ties with Hillary Clinton. And if he becomes GOP nominee, you better believe that it's going to be a real easy win for Hillary. Now wait a minute, I know what you're saying. But, but Bernie Panders, he he gonna win, he getting all these crowds and and everybody's showing up and all this celebrity support. Yeah, no. So you think he getting all that support and ten thousand people at the crowds and you think he's gonna win the Democratic nomination. Wrong, Joker. That ain't going to happen. He ain't going to win the Democratic nomination because Hillary's going to win the Democratic nomination. And the thing with y'all is you act like, well, we don't want an establishment candidate. And that's a perception the way y'all pushing it. But I noticed a lot of fake accounts who got this Bernie Sanders support and as well with the Donald Trump stuff. And they hope that everybody gets in group think and follow along. But that ain't going to happen. True independent voice speaking. But yeah, so they want to act like they're anti-establishment. They're not going to vote for Hillary Clinton. But what happens? Hillary Clinton becomes the Democratic nominee. Hillary Clinton takes the Bernie Panders. All the supporters of Bernie Panders go on to Hillary Clinton. How? Bernie Panders runs under Hillary Clinton as the VP pick. So in a Hillary Clinton Bernie Panders ticket, you get a guaranteed win over Donald Jump. And not only a guaranteed win, but a landslide win. And the biggest problem with that is you get a Hillary Clinton in office. Red, silver, J. Who? All I gotta say.